and I'm going to use Dale Schmegel. So, the first one I'm going to do is just a basic karate technique. Uh, so you can see that I, I hold the, the chopsticks in my hands like this, and this causes, it gives me a, another platform that I can use against the person's nerves. So when I'm going to block Dale, Sensei Schmegel, I'm going to block him right here by the radial nerves and give him something to think about besides punching me. Then I'm going to go into his ribs and his solar plexus. So as he strikes, yes! come in, I block, I pivot into the, and I, into the floating ribs here, could be into the liver, and then I pivot again and I strike into the solar plexus. Okay, go to the other side. I'm only doing four techniques so you can maybe remember some. Yes! One, one, strike, strike, and down. So that's one. The second one would be for a, from a choke. So if Dale comes and grabs me with a choke, what you have to worry about is breathing. So because when he does that, like for three or four seconds, I could be out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back, push my chopsticks into his underarms, pressure points under the arm, and step back and just push him this way. Now, can you come and grab me? He can't, so that's what I want to do. I just want to pull away from the choke. So once I pull away from the choke, I'm going to finish the rest of my technique if they all stand up. <laughs> but anyway, but if he falls, that's great. I'm going to push him back, kick him, and come into his shoulders. The pressure points up at the top of the shoulders, little muscle right underneath the shoulders. That's what you're, you're aiming for. Again, no strikes to the eyes or things like that. Although, when it comes to push comes to shove, you no know, strikes to the eyes. I mean, you want to go to the the um, frail parts of the body. You know, not the bones. You want to go into the pressure points, eyes, nose, eyes, throat, groin. Okay. Uh, another technique. Uh, you're going to be a double. Look, one, look, I'll grab. Okay, so this is a little bit more advanced technique. Uh, I'm, I'm, he's grabbing me on the lapel. Okay, so I'm going to step in slightly, left hand side, come out to the top of his uh, pressure point right at the top of, of his forearm. Here, I'm going to step in, come down onto the biceps, triceps area here, and then hit him into the head. Actually, if he were standing up, I'd my uh, focus would be the temple. This is, again, this is a higher level technique because we're going to the head. So, you know, for lower ranks, uh, we probably won't do this technique. But again, he grabs, comes down, strike, strike. All right. And then one more that's always been a kind of a favorite of mine. It's a sacrifice technique. We call it the bug technique. But I'm going to modify it with the chopsticks. Because another way to use a weapon can come up. The Dale is, uh, I can see that he's being very aggressive and he's going to throw a, start to throw a punch at me. Okay, so what I do, what I do, all I did is I got down out of the way, threw my chopstick up to give him something to look at. And that's going to take the attention off of me because if, come again, if I just, come into him like, as he's throwing a punch, if I just come like this, it's gonna, he's going to have a reaction. He can't see me. He's startled. If you have a point coming at your eye, you're, you're going to not think about the, the strike that you're throwing. You're going to think about me stabbing you in the eye. But I don't want to stab him in the eye. All I want to do is give him something to look at here. While I drop down, I come up with an uppercut into his groin. So here I just do it, uh, regular jujitsu or aiki jutsu technique. Grab his heel, empty yushi to the side, and take him down. And then I grab my chopstick. We don't want to give the person a weapon. One from the other side. But I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. So as he strikes, hike, hike, sit, yes. And then I come up. I can finish if I need to. 
Okay. So, thank you, Bill.